Torching has been a successful predominant method of roof application in the United States and Europe for years. In addition to being fast and efficient, torch application answers many practical concerns associated with common hot asphalt applications, including objectionable asphalt fumes, inconsistent quality of the various sources of hot asphalt, and complicated job site logistics. But even the success of a time-tested method like torching is subject to the quality of the application. Understanding basic torching techniques is key to the success of any torch applied roof system. Conventional torching equipment utilizes an open flame, so there are obviously safety precautions that must be observed. CPLAS strongly recommends that anyone considering torch application contact the National Roofing Contractors Association for complete information on the Certified Roofing Torch Applicator Program, known as CERTA. The CERTA program includes not only safety training, but also industry requirements for torch applications. While every effort has been made to make the contents of this presentation compliant with CERTA requirements, it does not, nor is intended to, include comprehensive information on those requirements or act as a substitute for CERTA training. CPLAST recommends that in Canada, either local torch safety guidelines or CERTA regulations be followed. Because some substrates may present a fire hazard when roofing materials are applied with a torch, CERTA requirements include and stress the importance of keeping approved, fully charged fire extinguishers nearby and conducting a fire watch following all torch applications. CPLAST manufactures four torch grade products, Paradean 2030TG, Paradean 20TS, Veral, and Para450. CPLAST's Paradean 20TG and Paradean 30TG roofing membranes are manufactured with a patented grooved torching surface. The grooves provide air channels beneath the plastic film, making quicker, more complete plastic burn-off possible. To properly torch Paradean 20TG, CPLAST recommends using a minimum seven burner torch wagon or a double burner hand torch, although a single burner torch may also be used. When using a torching wagon, aim the flame low on the roll and be certain that the entire width of the roll is being torched. With a double burner hand torch, concentrate the heat low on the roll at the point where the Paradean 20TG and the substrate make contact. Heat the back side of the roll by moving the torch across the entire width of the roll in a steady, even motion. Preheat the selvage edge of the previously applied sheet by drawing the torch across the roll and down the selvage edge in a smooth, continuous L motion, as you see here. Use either an approved 7-burner torching wagon or a double-burner hand torch to heat fuse the Paradean 30TG to the Paradean 20-ply. Particularly in high wind situations, some minor scorching may occur, but these minor marks will weather off of the roof. Scorching is best avoided by working away from the finished lap. Move the torch across the entire width of the roll in the same recommended continuous L motion and concentrate the heat at the point where the Paradean 30TG and the Paradean 20 make contact. To properly complete both Paradean 20TG and Paradean 30TG end laps, Cut a dog ear in the overlapping selvage edge, as you see here. The dog ear will allow for better adhesion of the T-joint from the next course. Roll the dry end of the overlapping sheet onto a mandrel for better handling. Here, we're using the core from the roll. When working with Paradean 30TG, continue the end lab by preparing the granule surface area that is to be overlapped. Apply heat to the area with your torch. This will soften the bitumen and allow you to carefully press the granules into the sheet with a heated trowel. Don't drag the granules or scrape them across the sheet. This will leave an uneven surface. Simply press them down into the sheet. Working off your mandrel, torch the Paradean 30TG into place. Notice that end laps are at least 3 inches. Apply pressure to the lap to ensure complete adhesion. When you are working with Paradean 30TG, granules should be applied to any bleed out areas while the asphalt is still hot. Remember to not walk on finished Paradean 30TG sheets until they have cooled. 
You can tell when Paradis and TG products are properly heated by observing visible changes to the back of the sheet. Watch closely and you'll see how the grooves on the back of the sheet will allow you to easily see the plastic film burning off completely. Always apply sufficient heat to burn off the plastic film and completely tackify the back coating without overheating or liquefying the modified bitumen blend. At side laps, the sheet will appear shiny and there may be a small bead of modified bitumen bleed out. Granules should be applied to any bleed out areas while the asphalt is still hot. Manufactured using patented production technology, Paradean 20 TS consists of C-Plast's Paradean 20 with a series of factory applied, heat activated, modified asphalt adhesive stripes staggered across the back side of the sheet. The unique composition and design of the adhesive stripes provides an excellent bond to the substrate while providing a controlled semi-independent attachment and venting channels when those characteristics are required. Paradean 20 TS can be heat bonded to primed concrete or approved insulation using a conventional hand torch or an approved torching wagon. If you are using a torching wagon, be sure that the entire width of the roll is being torched. When hand torching, move the torch in a smooth sweep across the entire width of the roll. To ensure complete adhesion, don't stop the torch short of reaching the edges of the roll. Preheat the selvage edge of the previously applied sheet by extending your torch movement into the L shape you are now familiar with. Less heat is required to activate TS adhesive stripes than is necessary on flat surface products. As with any torching operation, it is imperative to get the right amount of heat on the roll. As you torch, observe the changes to the bottom of the sheet. Desired burn off of the plastic film is easy to recognize. When properly heated, the film is completely gone and the adhesive stripes become shiny and tacky and they bond well to the substrate. Underheated rolls will not be properly adhered to the substrate. Overheating the semi-adhered TS will mar the striping pattern and therefore compromise the venting capability of the sheet. With Paradean 20 TS, end laps should be butted rather than lapped and applied in courses of even length so that the ends align rather than stagger. To seam the 20TS membrane, cut a 12 inch wide strip of Paradean 20TG and use it to tape across the butted ends of the Paradean 20TS. Set the strip of 20TG centered over the joint between the sheets of 20TS and torch it into place. C-Plast's Distinctive Aral combines a glass scrim reinforced SBS modified asphalt base with a protective foil facing in aluminum, copper, stainless steel, or polar white Kynar 500. Varal is ideally suited for slow proofing and base flashing. Varal is generally torched with a double burner hand torch, although on workable slopes, a seven burner torching wagon is acceptable. If you're using a hand torch, a pull bar or a chain harness can be used to move the roll. The slope of the roof and the weight of the roll itself will determine which method of roll handling is most practical for a particular job site. When torching Varol, always direct the flame away from the finished lap to avoid scorching the foil surface of the sheet. Aim one burner low on the roll of Varol and the other onto the IREX base ply, preheating it to enhance adhesion. As with other C-Plast torch grade products, the torch should be drawn across the entire width of the roll in a steady motion, tracing an L shape to preheat the selvage of the previously installed adjoining sheet. Keep the torch moving to bring the entire back surface of the Varol to the proper temperature prior to bonding. When properly heated, all of the sand parting agent on the back of the Varol sheet will disappear and the bitumen will become slick and shiny. If you are working with polar white Varol, the plastic film backing must be completely burned off. You should also notice a small bead of bitumen flow under the roll, as you see here, but not an excessive amount. As you torch, the bitumen on the back of the sheet may begin to bubble. If the asphalt heats past the point of bubbling and begins to run, as we are demonstrating here, the sheet is overheated. Overheating Varol can cause foil delamination. Underheated Varol will have sand visible on the back of the sheet, like this sample does, and will not be properly adhered.
As Viral is torched into place while it is still hot, a damp sponge mop should be used to broom in the Viral membrane. Notice that the sponge is being pushed across the sheet, following the channel pattern and not lengthwise. This ensures adhesion while protecting the waffle pattern of the material. Finish by peeling the selvage release tape from the selvage edge. Because this is a strapped application, note that a dog ear is cut at the finish edge of the underlying headlamp as well as on the overlapping selvage edge. Roll back the dry end of the overlapping sheet. As you have seen, the core from the roll works well as a mandrel. Top seal the edges of the underlying headlamp and peel the release tape from the selvage edge. When you are installing Viral on slopes over two and a half inches per foot, fasten the headlamp with nine nails in a double row, evenly spaced, staggered configuration. Prime the foil in a neat band, a minimum of three inches wide, across the headlamp to allow adhesion to the foil surface. Torch the subsequent sheet into place. Top seal the edges of the end laps with a clean, heated trowel. Immediately apply aluminum powder to any bitumen bleed out at the exposed edges of the Viral. Observing a few technique guidelines will make installation of the Viral base flashing easier. For detailed information on base flashing applications, please watch the CPLAST flashing details video. After measuring for proper flashing length, pre-cut the Viral from the end of the roll, allowing a factory selvage for laps. Then measure out four inches from the toe of the cant and chalk a line. Prepare the granule surface on the wall side of your chalk line using the method presented earlier heating the surface and allowing the bitumen to soften, and then carefully pressing the granules into the sheet. You may choose to use liquid primer rather than torch priming. If you do so, be sure to allow the primer to dry completely before torching. Remove the selvage release tape from the Viral pieces before you install them. Carefully set the Viral base flashing piece in place. Fold the base flashing down and rest it on a damp sponge. With the sheet in place, you're ready to begin torching. Preheat the IRX base sheet with your torch and begin heating the back side of the Viral flashing sheet. Always heat the Viral in small, manageable, squared off sections. Don't attempt to heat the entire piece at one time. And don't forget to direct the flame away from the finished lap to avoid scorching. Using a damp sponge, press each section into place on the wall before heating the next section. Fold up the remainder of the flashing piece, holding it in place with your trowel. Torch its underside carefully, making sure to heat it evenly and completely. With the entire piece in place, use a damp sponge to apply pressure, ensuring complete adhesion. Be careful not to deform the waffle pattern of the Viral. Run a heated trowel along the edges of the Viral to top seal it. Dust any areas of bitumen bleed out with aluminum powder while the bitumen is still hot. One technique for installing Viral wall treatments is to work from the top of the wall. After nailing the pre-cut piece of Viral, peel the release tape from the selvage. Lift the sheet from the bottom and carefully heat from below, as you see here. As with base flashing, the material should be heated in discrete, squared off sections. With a damp sponge, press the sheet into place carefully without damaging the waffle pattern of the Viral. Run a heated trowel along the edges to top seal and immediately apply aluminum powder to any bleed out. Para 450 is a single ply sheet combining the stability and strength of fiberglass and the puncture resistance of polyester. Torching Para 450 is best accomplished with a double burner hand torch or an approved seven burner torching wagon. As with all torch grade sheets, the flame should be directed away from the finished side lap to avoid scorching. Concentrate the heat at the area where the Para 450 and the base ply make contact. When Para 450 is properly heated, all of the sand parting agent on the back of the sheet will disappear, and you will notice asphalt beginning to bubble. There will be a small bead of flow under the roll. As with other C-Plast torch grade products, underheating or overheating will compromise the performance of the finished roof system. Note that this is a strapped application and the Para 450 is being dog-eared accordingly. Roll the dry end up on a mandrel and torch it down completely. Seal the edges. Slope will dictate the nailing requirements for each application. 
Torch prime the granule surface to be overlapped a minimum of six inches and complete the lap. Para 450 may be used as a base flashing material. As with the Varol base flashing, measure and pre-cut the paraphor from the end of the roll, allowing a factory selvage for laps. Chalk a line four inches from the toe of the cant and prepare the granule surface on the wall side of your chalk line. Earlier, we saw a top-down wall treatment technique. Wall treatments may also be applied up the wall. When using this technique, a mandrel is required. Set your pre-cut, rolled piece of flashing in position on your chalk line four inches from the toe of the cant. Roll the mandrel up the wall, preheating the base sheet and torching the flashing into place as you go. Torch carefully, making sure to heat the flashing evenly and completely. Don't forget to direct the flame away from the finished lap to avoid scorching. Done properly, torching is a safe, effective method of achieving a clean, high-performance roof. This program provides an overview of basic torching techniques as they apply to C-Plast SBS modified bitumen torch grade materials. If you have any questions regarding C-Plast products and their application, please contact your C-Plast representative.